Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. For today I have a very small gadget that can help you mirror the screen from your computer or your phone to anything that has a HDMI port. This works for both Android and iOS devices. So this is called a PTV display, it costs about $10 and even though it's pretty cool it's not totally perfect. Starting with a very quick unboxing, so this comes in a white box, on the front of the box we actually see a picture of the device and what devices this is compatible with. Inside you're gonna find the device itself, you're also gonna find the micro USB cable and DS, this actually needs to be plugged in. So some TVs actually have USB ports on the back, but if you don't you can just plug this into any phone charger. Aside from that you're gonna find the user manual and I do recommend that you actually read the user manual because it's got a whole bunch of useful information. The PTV display is very simple, first of all it's made out of plastic and I have to say that it doesn't feel premium by any means. We have a HDMI port there on one side, we have the charging port and on the other side we have one button. With that little button that we have on one side you can switch in between the Miracast mode and the AirPlay mode, so it's very simple to do so, you just press the button once and the device will switch to the other mode. So as soon as you plug this in, this is actually gonna make a Wi-Fi network and you can find that Wi-Fi network and password on the screen, so just turn on the TV and you're gonna be able to see that uh, network and the password right on the screen. As long as you're connected to its Wi-Fi, you can actually access its settings. So from settings there you can actually connect this to your Wi-Fi network at home and you can change the screen resolution and uh, a whole bunch of other things that um, are available in there. I found that the AirPlay mode works the best for this device. So if you have a Mac or an iPhone or an iPad, you can just connect uh, to this very, very easily. So from the Mac, you just click on a cast screen there and then um, you select this device. And from that, you can see everything that's happening on the Mac. So you basically mirror the entire uh, computer on the TV. And then for iPads and iPhones you basically do the exact same thing, so you can just uh, mirror the screen on the TV. And it does work really really good. If you have an Android device, all you have to do is press this button once, so we have a little button on the side here, you just press this button once and the device will switch to Miracast mode. And once that's done, you can basically mirror the screen from any Android device to this, uh, so it's very very simple to do so. This also works with DLNA and I was able to get that going from an Android device but it is quite slow so every time you switch in between a picture for example uh, to see a picture there is like a buffering period and it's just slow. If you're trying to watch a video the video stops every 3 seconds because it has to buffer. So yeah this time I'm gonna say that the DLNA doesn't work that great. 
this should also work with Windows devices, so I was actually able to connect to this um, from my Windows computer, but I wasn't actually able to cast anything onto this. So I tried a video, I tried a second video, I tried the browser, but nothing seems to work. Um, every time I try to connect to it, I get an error. So I'm not sure if it's my computer, I was using that computer from um, yesterday's review, but I was not able to use uh, Windows to mirror the screen on this. So there you have it, this is the $10 PTV display. As I said at the beginning of the video, this works best with AirPlay, so if you have an Apple computer or an iPhone or an iPad, this works really well with those and for Miracast, but for anything else it's not the best. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did like it, uh, don't forget to press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.